Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I wanna talk about the biggest weight loss mistake. Okay, so this is a little technique that I use, okay? I'm gonna show you what I use sometimes. Here's what you do. If you wanna find out the truth of something, you wanna research the most credible, authority-driven website, like the American Diabetic Association or the American Heart Association, okay? Or the American Arthritis Association. Or in this case, since we're talking about weight loss, I'm going to take the Obesity Society. This is the most scientifically based, leading peer-reviewed journals, you know, world-round researchers, and find out what they're recommending and do the exact opposite. Why? Because they always get it wrong. So let's just take this website. It's called Tr Treating obesity, it's called, uh, let's see, treatobesityseriously.org, okay? And I put a link down below. This is hilarious. This is what they said on their website. Take the pledge. I believe obesity isn't just a problem, it's a disease. Well, first of all, it's not a disease. It's not a disease. They're treating it like a disease. It's a symptom of poor habits and the wrong thing, okay? It's not like just a disease that spreads. There's a pre-step that you become obese, okay? It says right here, that warrants serious evidence-based treatments. And this is what they did. They switched the whole problem to a disease. It's very political. Nutritional and physical activity guidance, okay? So the first recommendation that they recommend out of all the recommendations is eat a diet with whole grains, okay? And there's other things too, but whole grains is the first recommendation, which is interesting. Okay, check this out. Intense behavioral counseling, drug therapy, and surgery. So they're, they're recommending that healthy treatment, right? Agree to learn more and help more. I treat obesity seriously. So what they are doing is they basically switched a symptom to a disease, okay? Now, let's just take whole grains, okay? Because they're recommending nutrient-dense foods, right? Makes sense? Sounds logical? But why do they pick grains? Let's take a look at bread, for example. Let's take whole wheat bread, okay? It has no vitamin C. It has no vitamin D. It has no vitamin A. It has one milligram of vitamin E. That's not a lot, okay? It has less than between four and nine percent of the B vitamins, no B12, very low in B vitamins, okay? So the only thing that it has of any significance is manganese and selenium. It doesn't have a complete amino acid profile. It doesn't have a complete fatty acid profile. It has a lot of starch. It's one of the highest foods on the glycemic index and the insulin index. What does that mean? It means that it turns into sugar and it increases insulin. It makes you obese, okay? I promise you, if you eat a lot of bread, you're gonna get fat, okay? So here's the tip, okay? Find out what everyone is doing, what they're recommending, especially what the authorities are telling you to do, and do the exact opposite, okay? I promise you will be very, very successful, all right? So I'll see you in the next video.